On April 17th, the fertilizer plant here in West Texas exploded, and with many still unaccounted for, the death tolls at 15, with at least 145 injuries. And as you can see behind me, the middle school and a nursing home were both heavily damaged. The West Middle School was badly damaged in the explosion, leaving students with nowhere to attend classes for the immediate future. Uh, it's still under investigation right now. The state firemen's or fire marshal's office is investigating that. Uh, they believe that ammonium nitrate caught on fire, which uh, led to the explosion. Reports stated that the West Fertilizer Plant was out of code and had been out of code for many years. The investigation is supposed to be done on May the 10th. And so I know there were some issues, I suppose, that we heard with as far as following some of the local ordinances and things like that. But we've, we've been in contact with them pretty, pretty regularly, and it's going to be May the 10th, and we'll get the official report on that. The Salina fertilizer plant, Martinic Grains, which is similar to the one in West, was immediately inspected. Yes, it's up to code. You know, we as soon as that happened that night, I called our city manager, Mike Foreman, and Mark Mecker, our fire chief, and we actually went through and got them to go out there and, and recheck it the next day and look at it. And they are up to code right now. They also sent us a letter stating that same thing that happened in West. They carry a few of the same chemicals here, but not the same things that they have down in West. So they said that we could not have that same situation here. Responsibility now lies on both state and federal government to better protect citizens from something like this happening again. Right now it's down legislation to see how they can strengthen the, the, the enforcement of doing, you know, going out TCEQ, the state going out looking and doing more audits on those companies. I know our local facility, we went in with them a week later with our fire chief and our city manager, implemented some more safety features, having them come up with some, maybe some cameras, some more security features like that. I think you're going to see legislation change on it here in the next year. They're going to really be coming in. We have one in Gunner just north of us, you know, 10, 12 miles down there. And so I think you're going to see a lot of them. Some ag, ag kind of fell under a different rule on certain chemicals they could carry. I think you're going to see legislation kind of mirror, mirror more of the commercial application and, and kind of make it come into what you know make ag kind of step up to, to tougher re regulations um, I think you'll see a step up in um, inspections on the state side uh, we annually or biannually inspect Martina grain and, and other facilities in our area uh, to make sure that they're code compliant um, but I believe that that you'll see an increased effort to make sure that that codes are being uh, adhered to uh, and then I think you'll see some efforts on the prevention side to uh, pre-plan a little bit uh, and, and make sure that all the cities have processes in place to deal with such an event. Firefighters from all over the United States and parts of Canada came together at the Farrell Center on the Baylor campus in Waco, Texas for a memorial service out of respect for those who lost their loved ones. Those in attendance included five members of the Salina Fire Department and President Barack Obama. Uh, the, that week after it happened, some citizens called me up and we set up a local uh, collection bank up at Brookshire's. We raised over $5,000 there along with taking a trailer load of supplies down there. Our fire department has stepped up. We got that night it happened, we actually got put on standby to take our ambulance down there, which we ended up, the overwhelming needed they had down there, we ended up not having to go down there. We just staged in the area in case something happened in our area. And so the whole Collin County, not just the line of all of Collin County made a commitment to go down there. But our guys, you know, we've got a lot of volunteers. We've got about 60 something volunteers and about 12 paid people. And they've all come together and been able to help staff the West Fire Station since until about two days ago when they've sent us back. Uh, personally for me, it, it's very touching. Um, I've been a part of a department who's had a line of duty death and it's, it very much is like losing a part of your family. And so, uh, you go down to support the family members uh, who are here and to honor those that uh, go before you. So it was very special to me and all of our guys to be able to go down. With the help of people from cities all over America, the town of West will start the process of rebuilding. This has been Andrew Reed from West Texas with CISD TV News.